Good. What's Nova? Good spot, eh, mga pards. Big good. Oh. Hello. Hello. Audio is the only thing that I worry. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Good. So here we are, people of the world, playing Juniper. Uh, wanted to play this. You know, shit school starts. And I can't do anything. And apparently, school was only one hour. So, I had an advantage. At the time, with this shit. And I didn't worry. So. Okay. Just wait for a couple minutes, wait. Okay. Okay then. Oh, come on, it's even. <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait, wait, sorry, sorry. Fine, fine. Sure, let's start. Okay, so we're gonna play Jennifer's Knife again. So, this is apparently a visual novel and early shout out to my friend. Uh, what is your name again here? Unseen and Elijah Opinia. Walls and floors have covered dust from the foundation. Much of the ceiling too has crumbled to the ground. Sweet, something wrong. Okay. Crumbled to the ground, layering in flakes and bits. Below me now is such hard soil. Very tired. Soil. <laughs> Imagine the moment. <laughs> There's not much there, but it leaves in weight. And pick all the sign inside of your nose. Well, as bad as it is, what can I do? I'm stuck. Some might say cursed, I'd rather say bound. I don't like to think very much about it. Huh. Huh. I kneel to the small fire, taking up a few embers, lump into my palm. It's this glow that steers me and reminds me that my heart is still beating. I bring the scorched earth close to my face and shut my eyes and breathe it in. I taste it and spit. Why would you even? A human. I hide it out. It's barren. Oh, this world is barren. Probably going away here forever. Why is... Oh! You see this? Elijah, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, Elijah. Wild fantasy came true in my stream. <laughs> uh, but instead, she's a demon. So sad. What? <laughs> There's an unnatural rusting not far off. West? West A? 
What is it? Who? Another here? My eyes sharpen and my ears perk up. I feel my heart thumping into my throat. Should I be forward? Give a call? Would that work? Out. Plead. Help, help, damsel. A full sword of light. Would that even work? Of course it's not. No, go still. Listen. Just listen. Ooh. Whatever it is, it's right busy about here. Most is rough from all doorways, chests wide open, shops and homes are explored. Haven't read. Someone found this place? Question mark. But hmm. Hearing these sounds is just a little bit odd. Odd. It should be odd, but it is. Strange. What the hell? What's the difference between strange and odd? Is that the same? Read your vocabulary, woman. Sorry, I should remember such sounds. Whoa! Why is there cops lying around? Metallic. Wait, the noise is getting closer. Is it? Am I imagining this? No, no. It's surely in the manner. Now, poking around the kitchen and lounge? <sighs> this side, the chance that I'll find its way to to stand, I take posture and wait to see the company. And to my surprise, it. He shows up at the door within the next minute. A boy? A man? What kind of thing is this again? Well, technically, if I'm gonna guess, it's been centuries. <laughs> For an immortal. <laughs> He's coming up with a ball on his waist. He is a traveler then. It looks like he's not as me yet. He's just wandering, staring drift. After a few steps, I catch his eye. He moves a little closer to me in the face. And then somewhere to see my feet. He stops there. Ooh. Love at first sight. Mmm, me. Staring now, I'm doing nothing more. As if realizing something is different. His heart beats loud in the air. Help, so come on, come here. He doesn't bend. What is he up to? What does he think it is? It's been again. I'm the little boy. Okay. Is the audio loud? Or is it just good for my voice to hear? Like, come on. Is the audio good? When I speak. Okay. I think I can pour it a bit more. Yes. Yep. We're waiting for it. Oh, oh, have I been rude? Have I been rude? I mean, Oh well, you are cordially invited to move your dumb legs! The first conversational words I've spoken in centuries, they could have been worse. He shakes with Syria and stands back. The end? So are you? What does it matter? Why are you pissing your trails this far? Get over here. Ah, no way! You'll eat my soul! Like, I need a boy voice, not a man voice. <laughs> I'm... Oh, what? Small um, a smile cracks along my face. Ha! <laughs> ah, rich. Your soul! Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. When was it that they left like this? I knew it! It's gotta be years since she last talked to someone. And so brightly watching, chuckling all the truth and a little more. And now, person. If you switch to Ara Ara, that would be so much better. Ara Disne, Poson. Person, you're just perfect. A jester, won't you lend me ear? A four, I eat your soul. Heh! <laughs> okay, fine. At my laughter, he glares, stealing himself, answering me. You're catching me, demon. Got that? I've read the stories. I'm tired, but I ain't stupid. Oh. 
It is famous tut mercy. I left a mark. You know what I mean. <sighs> Hell, I really don't. Gens, devils, demons, all I yeah. All yeah. I know how it is. You're all foul, and you try to trick people. Trick you? Trick? Trick? <laughs> oh God! Oh, I just can't believe it. What's happening in the years of your life? And what if I'm not trying to trick you, person? What if I just want to hear you. Hear me? No. What's it? Get you red. Oh, I'd love to hear a story. I'm so bored. I think I'll just leave. Turn tail on the bloodthirsty, wicked fiend. Look, something dirty when I see it. You ain't fooling no one. <laughs> he knows. He's so precious. Alright, alright. Tell you. L like all of his fans, devils, demons, I'm planning trying to win over extravagant soul through my dastardly wit. Okay. I'm a rook. Rook for a damn women king. But please, please, at least tell me what you've read. Why the hell do you want to listen to me so much? Because I'm bored, and your voice, ah, your voice, is one. Ah, horse feathers, what does that mean? It's the correlative of the conversation, boy. I really do want to listen. Would you be so kind? Okay then. Ah, he's genuinely considerate, such a delight, I do want to hear him. In the meantime, we'll look him over a little more finely. He's got her face, but through the fabric of his shirt, I can see that he's muscled. A surprise. Even the soldier boys seemed a bit lean back in the days of Rodan Marley. Marley or... Attack on Titan reference? Never know. I wonder what it is he does. He's most like an animal, in the most pleasant way that can be said. Well, yeah, if you smell like skunks, would you say the same way? Has the faintest scent of other crest of oven, mingled with black oil. A peculiar lad. Really better not stick around. Hmm. I guess I can tell you some things. Ugh. Yeah, I guess I can tell you. As long as you stay put, you hear. What's keeping you from me is more powerful than I care to challenge, person. Yeah, right, whatever. It's a story. One that I read a lot when I was little. <laughs> oh, pardon, pardon. I find it very hard to think of you any littler. Yeah, just. <laughs> Quiet! Oh, there was a cobbler in White Acre who had nothing to eat. He was purred and dirty, but he didn't have a girl, and made him real sore. Have a girl? Him. Dame, a sweetheart. He didn't have a wife. Ah, continue. While he was walking down an alley, he met this man. He had on a dark cloak with a hood that covered his eyes, and the cobbler couldn't make heads or tails of him. And asked the cloaked man if he'd like his shoes and worked on. He... Stupid, why would he do that? <laughs> he needed all the work he could... Just a gun or ruining shoes if what he... If what he needed was work, cocky. Okay, he wasn't wearing shoes, but he could use a new pair. Obviously, the cobbler's a cobbler, so he doesn't need to make shoes. And the cloaked man says, actually, he could use some new shoes. The cobbler looks at him weird and says he can get them if, this guy, if the guy is sick. Oh, oh, sorry. I just ate. The man says, something for you and the cobbler says like what there's perhaps anything wow now that's one way to get easy for your desires 
This for darkness just says it's the best work of the action. Now I know what you're thinking. I've heard this one before, and not as well. Well, you don't. The color says, perhaps not. Hey, son. And he walks away. Exciting. Here's the thing. While he's walking, he notices the alley is longer than usual. He does think about it, though. He thinks he's just tired from work and keeps walking. But while he's walking, he sees another man in the cloak. He's if the man could use his shoes and worked on, the man says he doesn't have any shoes again. So don't tell me this is like a fiend who, well, yeah, loops the man, but it was too late. Something like that. The cover stops, looks at him, and says he'd better get moving. The crooked man says he could really use some new shoes. Okay. Was, you know. He keeps running in his man in a cloak, and he can't find it. But every time he went longer until he sees the man in the cloak. One day's time. It's time! He still isn't tired. Jeez. And each time he runs into the man, he asks what he means. He says he could really use some new shoes. For what? The cobbler says. I don't know, the crooked man says. Perhaps anything. Like, what do you want? He knows exactly what he wants. He have yellow eyes and he knows a fiend. Nice to hear me back. Well, you have yellow eyes! Think about it. Probably. So, what you're telling me, if this story is anything good for you to is that I might have already trapped you. No, I don't think it is. Why not? He shrugs. I must say, your manner of storytelling is queer. What? It's strange. Oh. I don't know, it's just very strange in my ears. I guess. How's your story in? The color is desperate and makes a pact with the fan to get new shoes by the next day. The fan will give him gold for him to do that. But the fiend gives him gold, but he doesn't make it. The fiend traps him in the alley so he can't leave. His soul is taken and he's damned. The fiend eats his soul and leaves the alley for a farm. A farm? Yeah. I snort. Comedy. I think it's supposed to mean something. but Doesn't matter. Point is, don't get caught up with this no matter what. And right now. Well, it all right. Yeah, because you're pretty. <laughs> Light, live up to your dreams. Oh, sorry. I what? He shakes his head. I mean, try to figure him out. He yeah, his opinions and his story. I told it, he seems to have taken another idea of me. I'm not sure what that is either. I appreciate you telling me that story. Don't mention it. So fake. Don't worry of me. A little. I frown. Want me to tell you another story? The unsolicited offer throws me. Is he really asking? No, if I'm too eager. And ask for that. Oh. Pause. No, I'm fine. Say so. I'm gonna go now. Oh. Yeah. I gotta go, so I'm going. He begins to turn around. Okay, what's happening? Is this like a heartbeat moment? Stay, please. Stay, please. I won't take so honest. I won't. Then, like an idiot, I move my head out, reaching for him with singular. Oh! That sound! Oh, Christ! <laughs> Oh my god, these headphones cut. I move a second meter, map past the surface edge with my fingers, and the draw where the start is set a fire. Ooh, okay. Dropping on my knees, I scream, I crowd and howl, clutching the flames and smothering them. Tears crawl down 
my face and I snore with pain. It's in moan. Ain't that funny? <laughs> it's not funny. Come on. Oh, sorry, me. I'm not innocent at all. I hear him step a bit closer. Up there? Looking up at him from the ground, I feel my teeth shattering. Okay, we're gonna take a break. A little while. <laughs> and because. Okay. Through the chat, I don't remember. My classmate, JHYE Gaming. Shout out to you, by the way. Uh, I didn't remember you as much. Uh, oh yeah. Wait for a moment. Okay. I just had an alcohol break. Not the drinks. Please, don't compare me to those people. I'm studying, come on. No, I know why I wanted to stay. Yes. No. Just rend me. <laughs> rend as in like uh, drag him here and then just, you know. Anybody or anything, just put it in the live chat or comments to see what's rend. Because I'm too lazy to do those anymore. It's as if the it just so funny enough that vines sweat down from the walls and grass is born through the stone so close. Just outside this putrid circle. So she's in a circle. And the last thing uh, I cared about is you in the church. We're gonna build some up, up some theories here. <laughs> okay then. There's a human reading before me. Calmly. Uh oh, everywhere but here, but near to me, to my desolating blood. Leave it. These years have damned me, cutting clawed beneath my skin. Visible, but nevertheless blighting. I hate it. I hate. I hate it. Hate it totally so much. I hate the fingers were hard. The strength it takes in kind. I hate it. My flesh cheats, and I look away from him. Oh, bitching! Reading his eyes enrages me. How long have you been here? Long enough to beg. Long enough, you hear? How long I've been in this thing, Paul. It matter to you. Well, I don't want to tell, eh? Yeah, sorry, miss. miss. Oh, yeah. When it's been years, I've missed out a lot of things for modern countries and, you know, modern world stuff. So, miss and mystery, like. Oh, I took a look at my clicking, stuttering hand, my sight was still. Beakers. Sizzling, small blazes dance between fingers. I take my tongue fit, soothing the burns. You're a bald one, eh? Call me a star. What? No, no, you're no flapper like me. It's something different now. Miss is just what you're supposed to call all your ladies. Out of respect. The flames from the back of my hand, I glance at him. Well, I You okay? I ring finger and squint. Is that? Alright. Is that? Okay, alright. <laughs> alright. Hey, hey, I am a fan? Yes. Heal fast. Though I can still feel it snap and popping the joint. Through my digits and take myself from the ground, like, like Mr. Tyrone Tiag at this point. Are you going to stay? Oh no. Thank you. Okay. Good music. I love this type of songs. It's so beautiful. I'm actually lost right now. What is it? Ha! <laughs> this is funny. Oh, he's gone, isn't he? Think! After all, I cannot even be lost forever and ever. I'll know where I am. And where I am in it. Stuck. 
again, but he doesn't find it funny. He doesn't seem to find it much of anything at all. It's wiping away a figurative tear. <sighs> oh, oh, I know it's really in your face. He drew his hand to shake. Phew! Hmm? Oh, do you know where this is? Do you know where it's for? Oh, crap, again. So earnest. Don't know what more is. I know more. Hey, more is. You follow? Don't know what those are. Am I? It is a jig we're dancing. There's many times making fun of us both. Ha! <laughs> his looks a bit hazy, as though he's having a hard time keeping his eyes fresh. I turn my head silently. What is more, person? Where I was born. The a town? A new town? City. I think it's been there for a while. Hi. Hey, I glanced over just quickly enough to catch but the end of nothing. Did you know? It's for a time. I don't know what. What is that? It's a dead place. It's you. was born in a war. Like uh, the type. Like in Bethlehem? Okay, shocked. Interest. Oh, that was the stomach! I kind of heard it, but I thought it was just a crack. Sorry. Your stomach read a mood. I was about to tell a tale. Sorry. You're hungry, is it? It's harder. That's fans here. Here, we only eat souls and only for pleasure. Ooh. Pleasure. It's, a, it's an innocent thing that you can think about when it's for pleasure. Sorry. Joking. Any food? What you bring on about now? I look like I got food? I don't got any food, idiot. However, here. Let me ask just before the barrier pops up. Give me the chestnuts in your pack. I smell them. So I can gobble them up. What do you think? I'll clip them for you. Long from the branch or the ground smells like you haven't cooked them. And nor have you eaten them. You prefer the taste of them cooked? Ah, slowly. Push my fingers, waiting. Something you want uh, for this? Need for the morning till noon. That deal. Oh Christ! What the hell was that? You woman. His words spoken like an L. resonates deeply, echoing in streaks ash from the walls. Oh, I like a. Uh, one earthquake. Aftershock something. Startled the boy covers his mouth. Ew, was it? Hmm. I smell it. Here. Hey, you made a pact. What's the term with the packs here? I don't understand. Fine. No. In his head, he sighs. Relentlessly, carefully, he takes off his pack and opens it up. Redrawing a bushel of nuts in two hands, he moves forward. I look down at him, still waiting. With steady movements, he brings his hands to mine. He holds my hand and I don't move at all. But I do think. I think. Wait, can I just. I just, you know, quickly just. Oh, she's in a circle. I knew it. Hands tense, but it ends with a thought. She drops the heap into my palms. My fingers curl around it. I turn up my lips. Seeing this, he opts back. Give me a moment. I take all but one into my left hand, 
holding the last between my right thumb and forefinger. Opening my mouth to bring it between my teeth and punctuate with one of my fangs. With a shell, making a rough cut from one end to the other and take it out. The inner flesh of it, I spit out the shreds. But I go on to carve the second, third, fourth, and so on. Finished, I hold the chestnuts aloft and make a hearth of my hand. This'll take a while, person, but not so long. Might we talk some? Uh, sure. Then have a seat. Where do we leave off before your stomach so really interrupt? He sits, chin on his knees and eyes half lidded. Or... Ah, yes. I'll tell you a story about Moors in return for yours. Rather than a story. It shouldn't be nice, eh? Save your story for a bit later. I want to talk about... Moors. Oh, right. More, eh? Mine. It's gonna be like a. I don't know. What is it must just say? Come to think of it. Dude, you were born there. Hey, like all fans, I was born in waste. You're right about us, eh? About how we make barren anywhere we stand and consciously drain life from Earth for our sustenance? Pallid land and collegiate sloughed, air crawling low and dense with miasma. The pith of plants choked stira. I feel my face twist into scowl. Sounds, uh. Silent? Sounds hideous. I know because it is. Did you grow up there? <laughs> Question. Yeah, 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 I did. I had a mother and a father, always got me wondering, is this where I'll be when I get old? A bloody more? Ha! <laughs> not. You left it then. Did for many places. What was it like growing up there? Idiots, maybe I shouldn't have brought this all up at all, eh? Just don't want to talk about it, that's okay. Man, we're okay, there's just not much of anything to talk about. It's all very... Carless. Breathe. about yours? What? More? Or well, is that really anything special? Just your typical city. He is not the same to you. These big, loud streets are packed with folks, lots of smoke and brick. Oh yeah, that's technically a city. Pollution. Up on the farm near there because they're crazy. Way, yay, you're on the farm. That's good. Good for you, man. Is that where your sense from? My, my scent? Like herding horses. It's quite adorable. It smells like oil, but I'm not sure where it's from. Modern. I lift canisters of oil from this place every Wednesday. And I didn't know about the Wednesday thing is so this is past the time. Okay, sorry. So tough. He nods. <laughs> Very tough. Can you knock it off, Lilia? I do hard work. I appreciate it, woman. Here's his sentence, but it's nevertheless determined to appear strong. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna call you. Elf girl <laughs> and Levi. It's just gonna be more easier. Bye, demon girl, elf girl. What if I name you Petra? Would that be more better? And nonetheless, it kind of fits. Macabre or something. The girl's are assistant. Nevertheless, it's up here strong. Give you. For your normal strong efforts, I think it's time for your story. It's a little chat, Petra. I didn't know what to expect. Ready? He shrugs. I clear my throat and loosen up my shoulders somewhat, poising my on my fire hand dramatically. Oh, so it hasn't even started yet. It's a, like a chat, sorry. Okay then. Hmm. Did you know the stars sometimes act as rain in the night sky? Shower? Shh! But I've never seen it. Oh, Petra. So. We have walls there, come on. You can't even see it. 
Well, I've read of it, and not only because I've seen it. Thousands of life, lights, and they all bleed along the old telling me above, slowly, very slowly. Well, they are very slow that as they make a long stretch out above you, you hardly notice their drag, it is unpredictable slowness. Imagine it. Nods very slowly, and nods in another way of dripping in my memory. Flash! Whoa! I flare the flyer in my hand, the shit that's my Thumbs, light catching in his eyes. Wow. Flash! Ha! <laughs> flash! Flash! Oh, Flash from DC. Series. With each of these words, they stalk the flames, they look up and dance wildly. Each single brilliant streak cuts through the lights, independent and free. And then... It dies. Ah. Huh? You are there, woman. The magic in my palm fades in size. The pulses fades. Like fire. Ah. Met with the stars. Straight down from the light, had they so trained, had they noticed that they were not funny. Second person, that's sorrowful to you? He thinks of an answer. It is. It's an alright answer, person. You don't have to consider it like there is one. You think it's sorrowful? You. That's interesting. Truly interesting. I end the fire, leaving the chestnuts to cool. Okay. I blow on them and breathe on them. Ears twitching. These are done now. Pull them out then. My end of the bargains met, and you know what? Gave her. I'll go ahead and roast the rest of the chestnuts in my fire. Into the dead leaves. I'll do this for free, for no deal. All the stuff now is for you to stay. Squinting, he waits a little, but soon enough crawls forward in his hands and calves, his pack in tow. The edge of the circle, he takes the fruits from my hand. And looks at me, wearing a kind of ugly expression. He's coming out to his rear, he's, he keeps looking at me, but a bit less ugly. He seems to be wondering something. Actually, he looks at the nuts in his hand instead, his face softening. He shows one and pops it into his mouth. His face flushes naturally, he chews a little. He just begins to juggle his foot, shifts back a few feet, and speaks. Just glad that, that was a story, miss. I'm glad. You aren't entirely deaf. I turn the back around, shake it a little. It's more like an empty mind just as near. Trying to find the things and I guess some of them are still on some sort of dream. I toss those ones. I throw them a shred, just in case there might be something of interest. There's not. There's a bramble. It was. There's a story to it for sure that is. I thought I've seen this. Thinking, he nods. I hope so. I crack one of the chestnuts apart in my mouth. Put my feet and drop it in there. Maybe flashy tricks. I reiterate his actions, I speak to the boy. I was not alone with those stars then. I was with another, yes, like your mother or a sister. The fire watches it fall. It's the sun they're calling. It was fair. Young and human, perfect and miss. Charming girl, who would ask her to sing? I'm not seeing. Melancholy. I brought her from town into the stairs. I ate in my knees, and knew the even tide would be crying, and I had figured that the idea would have set her for me. I could trace his brow, chewing most somewhat sadly. Not to worry, not to worry. It did, it did. Rebounded thoughts of others. 
My actions that night, no. My actions all together. Oh my god. And she returned. Oh! What happened? Oh, what? After I took her back to town, she was pumped and beaten and beaten and beaten and plowed and beaten and beaten. Until she could not move or breathe. Oh! But that's dark. It's kind of pity, pretty full. Well, yeah, you're a fiend and. She um turned to a fan of my neck like a true white dude with this woman. Yours. And then in his hands. How stiff always so near to his party lit. Just my last door smiling. Nothing to a friend. Feel like they're entering. Green, brown, and air. It's the sickest thing, not only twisted it was. Curious, I read the entire plant, its trunk, its, its branches and leaves, I squish its roots. But have torn out the roots. I refrain from seeing it remained alive, born fruit and uglier than before. Wonderful story of one can tell. Oh! <sighs> Drop the last of the chestnuts into the leaves. Didn't you mess up the guys who did it? Mess Fien, you didn't eat them? I didn't eat them. It doesn't matter the story. I wanna know. I don't want to tell. Ugh, seriously, miss? You know, when kids in the neighborhood mess with my kid brothers, I beat their faces with a stick. That's what love is, it's taking care of your mates. Well, is what you figure from this tale that I fancied her? Well, obviously, you're a kid. Oh, you Levi anymore. Stubborn Aaron Yeager or something. Sorry, person. Yeah, I'm just gonna call you person because you're average. Not yours. Come off it. Story. Only a story. Stop. And shove his hand against the wall inside his expression shower. Sour, sorry. Fine. I was just entertaining you as a cook. Stupid. Bollocks. I don't want to hear that from your full arse. Let's do stu stupid. Forget it. What? This. Starting? Your stone's dripping now? Drop him any further, I'll tear him out. Tear at your trunk too here. Don't start with me. The boy frees his hand hovering over his last chestnut. Rip your legs off, understand? Don't start with me. Last thing you needed to be worrying over it is your soul. I'll slam your limbless if you start with me. There won't be anything so will at all. If you start with me, I'll kill you. We clear person. You're a cute thing, aren't you? Quailing so tender, I can't move from here, person. You know that. Ringy speaks up. It just sounded pretty real. And that's how it might die. Shaking as it leaves him. Breathing with fear, he fumbles opening his. There's to be still bits of shells on the floor. We just have not how not notice until it's full in his mouth. He does a bit of frown and calms down somewhat, now disrupted by the taste. Now these are finished, mind. Under the fire. Can toss them begin if you'd like, if you're still scared. N nah, I'm not. Rocks his head. I'm fine. I'm pretty tired. Toss them anyway. Hey, hey, sure they could. Also, Shell, what if you agree to stay with me till sunset? It's noon already? Wow. You have a firewall afternoon? And noon? Punching across from him. He stares his vision, slowly slowing and jumping and trying to focus. 
Which way is the coolest leveling his eyes on me? Didn't you say you do it for free? This person I said it for free. And I am. He furrows his brow and frowns. I'll stay with you. Deal. Oh, again, another pack. Through the sound. Oh, jeez. He isn't surprised, but I smile again. So is that what you are? Yeah. I picked up a chestnut and throw it to him. He catches it somewhat dazingly. How long have you been gone from your more person? Two days. Another. Ooh, isn't that a long time? Oh. Look. Laugh. If I laugh, it'd basically be like me laughing at you. Answering me with a greater joke instead of simply laughing. Well, the hour just a greater joke. Then one more his way. My existence. Really connecting the existence together. And the greatest joke in all history. I know this and I've missed half of it. Stop. So glad. I'm glad. I keep looking through my head book for the memory, memory of another like you, but I'm finding nothing. I have so many memories, you know, so many, so many memories. I might regret. A boy shouldn't should be so soft. The world is so rough, it will shape him ugly. Mangly breathing, the boy eases into his arms a little more. It's a rough place. I mean, maybe this world is also soft now. I knew. I was raised in my moor, and that was quite rough. You know why you laughed earlier when you mentioned souls? You know why I joke of souls? You couldn't be tired. The way that fans are so obsessive over souls, it's just extraordinary souls. Not unremarkable ones, like the way yours feels. You have to look for this mature, spirited woman. Humans, your soul is heavy with character and experience. So it's like a, like I.O. games. <laughs> like I remember Worm, was it Worm? Closes his eyes. A newborn soul, for example, won't do anything for him. It's special though. A newborn soul is quite... Really? Pack rises and falls. Pack Santa, packs S not. Exquisite. Uh, that is hair. It's off into the ground. I can flinch. Look into the fire. He's into the fire. The fire. These stupid things inside it. It's these stupid things. For a flash of a moment, it considered turning them to ash, but doing so would break back. No, it wouldn't. It's wrong. Boy, whoa! Whoa, whoa! What about the For me. Ooh. Something so interesting. It's just simple.
Um, so I can't voice that out though. Uh, 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 like light moaning though. Uh, 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 every day. Hey, days, Lauren days, huh? The months, what are you Ten centuries? Ten centuries? Was it longer than ten centuries? So I think this is where we're gonna end. <laughs> I'm tired. Twenty five fifty six. Oh Christ. Uh, guys, uh, thanks you for watching. Even though I had only like a two or four or five viewers of this video, it's kind of big. At from not gonna lie, uh, it's kind of special for me. Uh, I'll just rewatch the video later of me in the live stream and then uh, think what's wrong with the stream in me so my upload may be tomorrow or the other day so that uh, anyway just leave down the comments below or just in the live chat if you can I'm not chatting anymore so